Keys Kitchen. So we are on episode three of In Your Kitchen Tried and True. So if you read the description, you know that today we are making Rasta pasta. So essentially Rasta pasta is really just a jerk based Alfredo with chicken, shrimp, peppers, onions. Super good. And today's special guest is going to be my bestest friend in the whole world, Simone. So you probably have already seen her when we did the Get to Know Keys Kitchen, when we did the cookie video, um, even though the, that video was it was different but I I know you guys are probably like dang you invite this girl back again yes she's coming back and we're gonna be making this rasta pasta together so stay tuned to see our ingredients and what's next all right guys so our special guest is here without further ado here is Simone <laughs> hey y'all I'm so excited this is I gotta introduce myself. Yeah. Oh, hey y'all, I'm Simone. I'm Kiki's best friend. And we about to make some Rasta pasta. Yes, so we're about to make some Rasta pasta. So I heard through the grapevine that Simone and Denario are in a competition to see whose video is gonna be the funniest. Yeah. So if you're watching this and if you already watched Denario's after you finish this, make sure you comment below and let us know who's funnier, Simone or Denario. Personally, I think it's me, but oh, I'll let them compete. <laughs> you're not in the competition. Yeah, I'm not in the competition because you know there is no competition when you're the funniest. Anyways, I'm going to start with just introducing our ingredients. So we have our pasta. In my recipe, I use penne pasta, but I saw this pasta at the store. It's kind of like a cavatappi. Um, this one says Celentani, but I did some research and they're basically the same thing. One just has one extra rind around it. So I thought it would be cool to use this. We have our seasonings here, our shrimp, our chicken, some already stripped up peppers. And then we're going to dice our onion. We have butter, our cheeses, heavy cream, and our Walker Woods jerk seasoning. So I always use Walker Woods. They have a hot and spicy and a mild me personally i don't like stuff that spicy so i always get the mild but if you like your food spicier i would definitely recommend using the hot and spicy one instead of this one so in the next clip we're going to be dicing our onions and seasoning our meats we'll see you soon okay all right so now we're going to just be dicing our onion we're going to season up our chicken and our shrimp so simone's going to do the chore of dicing our onion do you know how to dice yeah i know how to dice cool I watched on this video okay. how <laughs> like when you cut stuff you're supposed to like tuck your fingers under. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. I know it feels weird, but apparently it's supposed to help you. When you cut stuff, you should hold the knife like this. Remember when I told you I you watched the control. safety video and I cut myself? I was trying to do that. <laughs> That's exactly what I was trying to do. That's what he told me to do on the video. Oh my gosh. Thanks for the next. We have our chicken here and our shrimp. So Simone is going to be seasoning our chicken and our shrimp. So first, we're going to drizzle them with a bit of olive oil. Generously. Okay. This can be found on Kashara's mobile store on Amazon. She's going to um, send the link at the bottom. I don't have a mobile store. <laughs> but people do be having those. They be like, yeah, if you need this, check out my store. Because this sea salt is not. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> It's sea salt, so it's bigger granules, so a little bit comes out versus like the big one. A gotcha, lot of because they're gotcha, smaller, gotcha, gotcha. a whole bunch comes out. So. Huh. Yeah. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> That's how you learn. Uh huh. And but that seasoning is a no salt seasoning, so even if you were a little heavy handed, it's a, it'd be it's, all right. Yeah, it's okay because it's no salt, so it won't like overpower the dish. I will warn you that on these big seasonings, their holes are big bigger, so you might want to shake it lightly. No, you can still shake it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord! 
Lord. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Mm -hmm. You probably used to like the little small uh -huh. shakers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All my seasons. The seasons that I use the most are the biggest. So onion powder, paprika, garlic powder, black pepper. I didn't realize how much people use paprika. I'm people, but. <laughs> Like, dang, this is really a staple. Yeah. And I don't even know what it tastes like. It just, it gives it a nice color. And it, cause like this is smoked paprika. So if you were to use like too much of it, it would actually give it some heat. Hmm. And then black pepper. I love pepper. You do? I do. Too much pepper also can be spicy. I know. Do you like that? In my eggs. Mm. Now I'm just gonna mix these seasonings up for the shrimp. You can like pat the seasoning in. So Simone has generously seasoned our, our meats. That's a good thing though. As you should. Where do you learn that from? My grandma. Which one? The white one. Really? No. <laughs> she can teach me how to cook. Why are you lying? I'm okay, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> she can cook though. She's from Haiti. She Haitian. Mm hmm Okay. You can flip it. <laughs> and then I can season the back of them. Since I know you have to do. So typically I go heavy on the front side mm -hmm. and then I go light on the back side. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's how I be by myself. Be like, ooh. Okay, you have to get one okay. So I say, if you ain't making a mess, is your food really the best? Hmm, okay. That's good. That's all I gotta say. That's good. That's all I gotta say. Cause I do be making a mess though. So make a mess. <laughs> Don't be scared to make a mess. But then you gotta clean it up. Yeah, that's unfortunate. All right, so yeah, we're gonna pat this seasoning in. We have our water boiling as well for our pasta. So once that comes to a rapid boil, we're gonna add our noodles in and then we're gonna start cooking this chicken and shrimp as well as our peppers and all that. So stay tuned. All right, so now we're about to cook our meat. So we have our chicken here and our shrimp here and when I have my hot pan, I've already been heating it and I'm adding some olive oil in it. So we're just gonna put our chicken in. Once our chicken is finished cooking, we're gonna put our shrimp in. For our chicken, we have our thermometer to make sure that it is 165 degrees on the inside because that's important. So we just finished cooking our chicken and our shrimp. So look how good these look. They look. You see that steam? Amazing. So we're gonna set these to the side and then we're gonna start cooking our sauce. So first of all, we're gonna add our butter to this pan that we just finished cooking our meats in. And then we're gonna add in our peppers and our onions. So you can just take out the pepper pan. We're gonna let these cook a little bit. Alright, so now we're gonna add in our heavy cream. Ah! It's okay. <laughs> Then we're going to add in one and a half tablespoons 
a red gypsy. I knew that's gonna happen. <laughs> Very jerky. Let's stir it up. Rasta pasta. Nah, that was horrible. Yeah. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> Simone's been trying to practice like her Jamaican accent. It's not really working. Maybe Denario should have made the Rasta pasta so he could say it. Rasta pasta. Pasta, pasta. I don't know. I don't. You sound like a little Caesar thing. <laughs> rasta pasta. <laughs> it's looking very rasta farian right now. I don't know if that's a good word. Rastafarian? That's a good word. That's not an offensive word. I don't think so. Okay, that's what it's looking like. <laughs> because you never know. Like that's very true. One time I said something to my coworker, and she was like. What did you mean by that? And I was like, oh, I was just saying it because it's something else. And they were like, oh, well, where I'm from, that's actually an offense. And I was like, oh, oh I'm so sorry. That's not what I meant. Once I called my sister Thunder Thighs because I thought it was a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely not a compliment. I was like, okay, Thunder Thighs. <laughs> she said, what? Yeah, that's definitely not a compliment. So we're gonna let our sauce heat up a little bit. We want to see some little bubbles forming, and then those. once, we, yeah, like those. But we want to see them in yeah. other places. And once that happens, then we're gonna add in our Parmesan cheese, and we'll almost be done. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add some seasonings to it too. So some jerk seasoning, and then all purpose. So just basically all of these, they all have a purpose. So that's why we. <laughs> some because it has the cheese in it now and then after that we'll add in our chopped chicken our shrimp and then we'll put in our pasta noodles on top ah. oh MJ. now we're gonna add in our meats <laughs> finish our rasta pasta i just added some shaved parmesan to it so here it is money shot <laughs> so here's our pasta i'm gonna fix a bowl for simone and she's gonna taste it on camera and let us know if it's tried oh or gosh, true i'm nervous don't be nervous looks quite delicious which one's the good one tried or true uh true okay bet Tried means like you tried it, it didn't really work. But true means it's true. There you go. Blessed Jesus. Blessed Jesus. Amen. Gotta get a noodle. I'll get a piece of chicken in there. Get a pepper. Get a pepper. Oh, gotta get a pepper. Gotta get a pepper. It's true. It's true. Mm-hmm. Okay. Would you do anything differently? I know what she'd like to say. Hold up. <laughs> you do. I would add more jerk paste so that it could be spicier mm -hmm. before you're safe. I know that she's going to say that. It's amazing. Well, thank you all for watching us make this Rasta Pasta. Thank you all. Um, for the episode three of In Your Kitchen Tried or True, the Rasta Pasta recipe is 
true so thank you again make sure you like and subscribe to my channel follow me follow me on instagram let all your friends family everybody know that keys kitchen is on youtube we can't wait to see you again for a new episode bye Hey Keys Kitchen, today we are doing um, a diversity and inclusion episode. She hasn't had any Caucasian people on here yet, so I am representing for the whitey. <laughs> I'm just playing. Maybe I should invite Matt or something. You should invite Matt. I don't really have a lot of white You people. don't. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I like white people. They're cool. I just, I'm just not like I can't friends. tell. I have a friend in Maryland, his name is Zach. I have, a, I have a white friend. His name is Zach and he's white and he's my friend. He has black down in here. Uh-huh. Okay, Mark. Mark is mm-hmm. Mark counts. Period. We love you, Mark. Sophie, I would consider her like a friend. Sophie's yeah, okay. Period. I know what people. All right. And actually, one thing that he doesn't tell you is that if you talk to the food, it comes out more loving and juicy. That's not true. And that drawer right there, sometimes it just opens up. That's the moment. That's My toilet used to shake. They came and fixed it though. <laughs>